Happy Halloween, Flyers! I'm Olivia Hudson. And I'm Genevieve Carmody. And you're watching the rundown for the week of October 28th, 2022. We're in the Halloween spirit, but are the rest of the students ready? I'm not sure, but Kate Johnson is trying to put everyone in the spooky spirit. Hey guys, my name's Kate Johnson, and I'm on the streets here at Loyola to get everyone in the spooky season. What are you being for Halloween this year? Nothing. Um, I'm being Miss Kensington from Austin Powers. <laughs> A pumpkin. The world has to know what you are being for Halloween this year. I'm being Rapunzel. Uh, I really do not have any plans to dress up for Halloween this year. I'm going to be dressed up as number 40, Noah Cassio. I'm going to be LeBron James from the Sprite Cranberry commercials. Robert, what are you going to be for Halloween this year? This. Um, I'm a cop, and my best friend Chloe's a cop, and Cooper's a robber. Spider-Man. Pizza. Uh, I'm going as Elvis Presley. Anakin Skywalker. Mallory, what is the best Halloween movie? <clears throat> Hocus Pocus. Well, I'm going to tell you, the most scary to me when I was a kid was Nightmare on Elm Street because Freddy Krueger came in your dreams and you couldn't control that and he had those long need. Oh my gosh, I thought I was going to, Freddy Krueger, I'd go to sleep and I was going to die. Oh, wait, what's that called? A Charlie Brown, like, you know, like the great pumpkin Charlie Brown. <laughs> Lily, what is the best Halloween movie? Um, definitely Halloween Town. Um, I'd also say my favorite Halloween movie is Hocus Pocus. Please let me know, what is your favorite Halloween candy? My, my favorite what? Halloween candy. Oh man, probably Skittles. I'd say gummy bears. Candy corn. Kit Kat. Sour Patch Kids. Candy corn all the way. Uh, candy corn. Uh, Skittles. Uh, I like Reese's Pieces. I like, uh, Kit Kats. Skittles. Uh, probably Snickers. Reese's. Oh, can candy corn. Uh, some Lifesaver gummies. Definitely love me a good <laughs> Snickers and Milky Way mix. Really good. Trick or treat? Trick. Trick or treat? Uh, trick. Uh, trick. Trick or treat? Treats. Trick. Trick or treat? Ho ho ho. Tricks. Trick. Trick or treat? Trick. Thanks, Kate, for putting everyone in the Halloween spirit. Hey, Olivia, aren't you president of FCA? Yes, I am, and Carrington Carter, our Vice President, gives us the details about Fields of Faith. This past Wednesday, FCA hosted their annual Fields of Faith event at Mesmer. So tonight at Fields of Faith, we looked at what our chief desires are, the things that we desire most, and I sought to present that the, the way to real joy is to seek to glorify God and to enjoy Him forever. The FCA board and I have been working really hard to organize Fields of Faith and it was just a really great experience and it was very successful. Thank you so much to everyone who showed up, it really means a lot. I think Mr. Montgomery was a very motivational speaker and I can't wait till next year. I enjoyed coming out to Mesmer. Mr. Montgomery did a great job at the Fields of Faith. Uh, it was a great turnout also, just a very peaceful, nice event and uh, I'm glad I went, I'm glad everyone else showed up. Mr. Montgomery's talk was really good and I had a fun time. I thought it was really fun and I enjoyed being out here. Thank you to our speaker, Robert Montgomery, and everyone who came out to support. This has been Carrington Carter. Thanks, Carrington. Looks like we had a lot of fun. Hey, Olivia, you know what's right around the corner? Halloween? Mm, good guess, but no. Oh. Actually, it's Style Show, and Mary Elberson gives us the behind the scenes. Style Show is just around the corner, and our seniors can't wait. I talked to a few of them to see how it's going. Maddie Tynes and I are really excited to participate in this year's Style Show. I'm really excited to see how our dance plays out, and I'm so hyped. Well, I'm excited to carry on a tradition that Loyola has done for many, many years, and I want to see how it kind of ends up. Style Show practice has been going great, and I'm really excited for our dance. I'm super excited for Style Show. We've been practicing really hard and our dance is super cute. I'm really excited for Style Show next week. Our dance is going really well and we actually get to go pick out our outfits next week. So I think that's really exciting and I think it's going to be a great Style Show. 
thanks seniors. We are looking forward to seeing y'all light up the stage. This has been Mary Elberson. Thanks Mary Elberson. We know our seniors are excited for the big day. After fall break, our athletes are back in action. Savannah Smith gives us this week's spooky sports report. Hi Flyers, welcome back to another sports report. This is a new nine weeks and the Flyers are still going strong. Today is a big day for the Flyer cross country team as they compete in the district meet in West Monroe. So district's Thursday um, and I've been getting new PRs at every course and I'm excited to see if I can do it again. We have district this Thursday, uh, I'm excited. Um, I've hit all my goals this year. I'm just excited to um, improve my time and make the best of my race. After a win on Monday against Airline, three sets to one, and against Mansfield, three sets to none, the volleyball team is preparing for playoffs. We've had an amazing season so far. The girls and I have had so much fun this season, and playoffs are coming up, so everybody needs to come out to our first home playoff game. Last Friday, the Flyers blew out Lakeside by a score of 41-14. to The Flyer offense has been unstoppable, scoring 119 points combined in the past three weeks. Cooper DeFata once again made plays for the Flyers with both his arms and his legs. He passed for 158 yards and a touchdown and added 90 more yards and two more touchdowns on the ground. Trace Wall also scored twice. On defense, Andrew DeFata had two sacks. Gray Deason had 11 tackles, and Grayson Hutchins added an interception. With the win, the Flyers now have won four straight games and remain tied for the first place in district. So we started off pretty rough, but we've had a major turnaround. We've won four straight games. Uh, we've been working really hard this year, and especially this week, because we have a tough matchup against North Caddo at Mesmer Stadium. Uh, personally, I've been playing pretty good, and I look forward to continuing the win streak. That's all for this week's sports report. This has been Savannah Smith. Thanks, Savannah. You really know how to give a spooky sports report. We hope all of our athletes take the time to enjoy Halloween. Do you hear that noise, Genevieve? I think it's about time we leave the attic. It's starting to feel a little creepy in here. I feel like there's definitely someone else in here. All right, we'll see you next week, Flyers. Or not. Happy Halloween!